Wow. I am really high. You know what really grinds my gears? Tell us, bro. No lubricant. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that works yeah, on really? so many levels. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, really grinds my fucking gears. Man. You know, you want to know what really grinds my fucking gears? Yes. The fact that we only get to sit down one night a week and do a podcast. Mm-hmm. That really grinds my gears. I feel like we need to double this thing up. Triple it. Yeah. I can do Monday, Monday through Let's go on the radio. Week. Let's do Monday. We'll do a podcast Friday. Yeah. We have it like beginning of the weekend, end of the weekend. Yeah, because you ever double know, dose. You, yeah, you ever notice how like all the cool shit happens over the weekend? Yeah, and then we do a we do a show Friday, and of course we got to wait all fucking week to talk about to it. talk about what happened over the weekend. Then yeah. it's like old news by then. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that really fucking pisses me off. Mm-hmm. I think we need to step it up. We do. And then you ever notice how like if we did a show on Monday, there's always cool shit that happens on like later Monday. <laughs> and Tuesday that we miss out on. Yeah. So I'm thinking we ought to do one on Wednesday. Because then we do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We have all the whole week covered, plus the weekend. Mm-hmm. And then we do one on Saturday, just because cool shit happens on Saturday mornings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool shit does happen on fucking Saturday mornings. For sure. So you're right. So we'd have to get on that like Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And then do one Sunday evening. <laughs> yeah. Just to, just to fully like a, recap yeah. the weekend. Like a wrestling, the fights. Yeah. Because you, you guys get together to watch the fights and everything, right? Yeah. We watch the the oopsie, mm-hmm. yeah, and we watch the WWE. Oh, oh man, speaking of oopsie, what? I'll let you continue. The Conor McGregor answer. fight. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> so excited. Did dude. you watch the the press conference yesterday? No, I saw. I dude, saw it the was clip, but I didn't gold, man, check into gold. It. Dude, Conor McGregor is gold. Really? Like when that dude is on a mic, it's so fun. Conor McGregor really kind of pisses me off. Does he grind your gears? Yeah, he grinds my gears. Why like, does he grind bad. your gears? Because he's he's just so fucking arrogant. But dude, and I get, wanted him to fuck it's an up. act. Yeah. But but the thing is, like, you're right, it is an act. Just my, to get it, in the fighter's head. Yeah. But you know what? That make in, in the WWE that would be considered a heel. Yeah. You know, and you're not supposed to like the heels. So fucking well, McGregor. No, let's uh, hear me out on this, on man. Now. Hear me out on all this, right, man. All right, all right, I'll go with when, you. When he fought fucking Mayweather, I'm strapped in. When he fought Mayweather, but he's fighting I, Mayweather. He's I, got I, to. Yeah, but Mayweather is such a bitch. But he's arrogant too. Yeah. Yeah. They're like throw like dollar bills. McGregor should have fucking knocked that motherfucker out. Does he throw dollar bills because he doesn't know what the difference between like a one and a five? Yeah, that dude can't read. (laughs) He can't read, man. And that really pisses me off too. Yeah, motherfucker can't read, and yet he's worth you know millions of dollars. Well, dude, what kind of message is that sending to our children? (laughs) It's bullshit. Well, it's like these Instagram people, like the Instagram tags, yeah, Yeah. (laughs) like that, and like you know what the biggest thing I think uh, I heard I I was reading. The biggest thing, like, um, where people were, uh, or teachers were asking kids what they want to do when they grow up, and the number one answer was be like Instagram famous. Yeah. Really? I, I was going to say YouTuber. That's you what my, that. That's what my kid yeah. wants. But yeah. like, that, that was 10 years ago. Or not even, not 10 years ago. I'd say like five years ago. That was what everybody's dreamed of becoming yeah. a YouTuber? Because like, my daughter is really into YouTube and stuff. My, my oldest is really into YouTube. But like, even now, she's like, kind of, now she, she's right now really into Pinterest. But, um, like I was you explained to her, there's no money on Pinterest. Yeah, like, yeah. Like she like eighty. Make money, you know, wants to make like house crafts. She loves memes. Like um, that's what she look, goes and looks up. Memes. I love memes too. Reddit's no. Reddit's the best place for memes. No, I'm not letting her on Reddit. Didn't the country <laughs> just ban memes? The I think uh, not the UK did it. Yeah, it was the UK. I think they, the UK banned I, memes. I think. The, I know, saw, oh yeah, that I saw a meme. My gears. I yeah. saw a meme about it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? And then like people come to America to watch our memes. Is that is that a thing? I get. I don't know. I don't know the news story. I, I saw I, the I keep, meme. I keep seeing things too. I don't think the it's like, I don't think it's actually. Yeah, the main. <laughs> I don't think it's actually in place. I think they talked about it. So let's if they talk fucking about ban it. memes, yeah. how can you ban? I'll memes? never go there. No, like all right, man. What's the UK? It's not America. So it's offensive. Yeah, yeah. They, they don't give a flying fuck in the UK. They don't have like amendments and shit. That's just bullshit. Fucking memes. Yeah. Memes. That really pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> memes. <laughs> Mames. But yeah, Connor, back to Conor McGregor. Yeah, here. dude, he should have fucking whooped Mayweather's ass, and, that, and that's why I don't. But like he was him. he was in his house. It doesn't matter. Mm. I mean, I get if that. You, hey, if you came into my house and I was in the wrong, I'd want you to fucking shut me. Down. You know what I'm saying? Might might be disrespectful. Might seem that way. 
But I'm telling you. But what I'm saying is, he brought. He was a UFC fighter in a boxing match. He yeah. tried to. He, he. I'm sure he trained boxing for that fight. But if you watch it, he was still trying to go UFC on him. Yeah, there was a couple of times. Yeah, there was a couple, uh, times. Was a couple he was times. to get behind him. He wanted to get stuff. behind him, and he tried to like. He was like starting to hit like hammer yeah. fist the back of his head a little bit, and they're like, no, 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 can't do that. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. You know, I don't I, care. I wish Conor McGregor would have just straight up fucking came out in UFC style and just whooped his ass. I mean, I, I hope so. That would have been, awesome. been awesome, too. It would have been good for like five seconds, and then his security would have fucking jumped in yeah. and shut Dude, that shit down. you guys totally missed that press conference. Well, we could watch so, it on, so on, on the, the YouTube. Yeah, yeah, so the first thing is they, they stripped his belt away from him. Yeah, he don't, they stripped, because he had two belts, stripped them both away. So he comes walking in with his two of his UFC belts. Sits down, bam, puts him right there on the right there on the table, and all of a sudden he like he reaches her like behind him or, or like yeah he, he hands he hands it somebody with him and he brings out this Irish whiskey, bam, sits it right there, some Irish whiskey that he's sponsored by or that he that he goes behind, and then all of a sudden he starts talking shit, you know he does, he's all Irish. Oh yeah, he ca- he said something about. What about when you were on that fucking bus? And that dude, he just kept saying that fucking bus. And I was just, <laughs> he kept saying it. And I'm just like, man, I'm waiting for somebody to comment fucking bus. And there was like 30 fucking buses <laughs> in the live stream. And I'm like, dude, this is gold. You should have commented on it, man. I did. I, I commented fucking bus. There you go. So, but I don't, dude, you just had, and like, he was all like, oh, He's like, oh, y'all want to try this really good whiskey? And like, uh, I need a cup. And like, some guy comes running down with these cups and throws them up there. And the guy picks it. And Who comes like, to a press conference Thanks. with cups? With well, they're, cups. well, they're at a hotel, so they uh, probably have like drinking water and stuff like that. So that, he throws, really, that really pisses me off. Yeah. yeah. Who brings cups to a press conference? So he throws these hotel or not? <laughs> fucking cups just ain't cool, man. Clear cups, man. Ooh, Ooh fuck that. Yeah. 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 If you're at least gonna bring a cup, at least bring a fucking a red, red solo. solo. Cup. Yeah, I mean, that's just. Red yeah. but, uh, but yeah, so he pours the whiskey the, in, oh, in the cups. I, I hate to cut you off. And Fuck I'm, you, I'm gonna man. Let you, you know, really grabs my gears and you fucking cut me off. <laughs> I just got to get this out real quick. All right. Man. Fucking new country music. Yeah, that shit's horrible. That Red Solo Cup song that's old, pisses though. me off. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. The hip hop. Yeah, that yeah. song's oh, been out a while. You know, I was going to say something, but let's just move on to fucking... Let's go back to fucking <laughs> <laughs> No. I know what I was just saying was that he started pouring out this whiskey and they're all like, you can't, you can't drink that. And he goes, I don't give a shit. And starts drinking it. And he hands a cup to Dana White. And Dana White's like, oh, this is good. You know, he kind of sipped on it. And then he handed a cup to Khabib and Khabib's like, I don't drink. He's like, come on, you fucking pussy. Drink some. Fookin. Fookin. Yeah. And he's like, and he's like, and he just kept saying, I don't drink. Do that. It was just gold. Drink. Yeah. It was just gold. What, what's that, I, I what's the rich it. guy's name again? Mayweather? No, 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 the, the guy you just mentioned, the lead, the head of the uh, UFC. Oh, Dana, Dana White. White. Do you think guys like Dana White are feeling pressure now to step up like they're, cause of Elon fights? Musk being on, uh, uh, that fucking Joe Rogan bullshit podcast? Oh, that, uh, that dick sucker. That half-wit fucking <laughs> Joe Rogan. <laughs> I can't, you I don't can't, really grind my ears. Fucking say Joe that. Rogan? Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I can't say that with a straight face because it's because I like Rogan so much. <laughs> and, and, and see, that that pisses me off too. That Dusty likes fucking Rogan. Yeah, I just can't fucking stand it. What what pisses me off is like Let's you hear like you have like you search Joe Rogan on YouTube. You got to like dig through all the fan videos. Oh yeah, there's always yeah. Like to fan get videos. to like the most recent because yeah. they you, then you get like the most popular one. And then, like, well, fuck, man, like, how many links do I have to click through to get to fucking... Just type in Joe Rogan Podcast Experience, go to his page, and click Recent Videos. Hey, look, there you go, man. <laughs> but then I, I, like, I could turn into, like, Joe Rogan's podcast, and he's just like, bring up, bring up that thing again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Jamie. Like, oh, there's, hey, Jamie, like, five bring minutes back of that, like, no, nah, fuck it, I'll just go back to the clips. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jamie, bring that up again. Yeah, babe, Jamie, bring and, that up. And, and, and what really pisses me off, what really grinds my gears, he's like, hey, Jamie, let's bring that up. And then oh yeah, like, they're sitting there watching it. And all of a sudden, they they pop it up on the camera for like five seconds, and like, and he goes, "Sorry guys, that's all we could share." Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and why we're just sitting here watching you watch it? I'm gonna have another fucking tab. Yeah. Rewind back to what they were talking you gotta go, about. You gotta Google it and see <laughs> what they're looking at. Yeah. You know, it really fucking grinds my gears. I don't know. I fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had said something, and I was gonna start bitching about that. I can't remember what it was. What? Dead air. Like the... Oh no. Oh. Fucking reaction videos. Oh, reaction yeah, videos. Yeah, because that's essentially what you're watching. You're watching yeah. Joe Rogan react reaction video. You don't like reaction videos? Fucking reaction videos are so fucking stupid, man. Yeah. Like, like literally, you can be huge on YouTube by just filming your reaction to something. That fucking, I mean, yeah. That, that, that takes, like, zero talent. But, I mean, yeah. You know, you know why they're popular? Are good. 
Uh, is this, this, is this goes to, I, off? this goes to iDubs. I, I want to talk about iDubs, but I, we don't have to right now. I just want to bring up, cause he did a video where he like, this is a guy who's famous for reaction videos. Right. Cause he, so the like reason, no work. Yeah, it is no work, but they get credit because a lot of places ban certain channels, like popular channels on YouTube, cause mm-hmm. you're not supposed to be watching it while you're at work. But you can get around that by watching this guy react to it. He gets credit for the other creators, you know, work and, and you're still getting to watch the video, but you just have to watch it with the guy and, and the, you know, like a picture in picture of the video. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's how you get around. So wait a second. Hold on. This guy does a reaction video to a reaction video. No, <laughs> no, he's doing like a reaction video to like the podcast you can't watch, right? No, he's talking about iDubs. Yeah. iDubs does like a basically a diss video, a good content cop is what his stuff's called. Oh, I'm t- I was talking about the guy before. That's basically what he does. Oh, uh, the guy that he's I can't remember his name. Yeah, the guy that he's well, no, he does a reaction video to like say, um, the new uh trailer. New Iron Man trailer, right? Whatever. There's an Iron Man trailer? No. God, why you gotta do that shit to me, <laughs> okay, man? Let's do it. really grinds my gears. <laughs> is when Tim tells me there's an Iron Man trailer, and there's really fucking not. Why would you do that? Miss Marvel, or Mar- Captain Marvel. Oh. Speaking of new trailers. New did trailer. You, did you see the Joker, Joker footage? bro. The footage, yes. The actual, like, him with standing the, with there the with the clown guy. Shit. No, 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 no. There's like a new video. There's actually out. like a new video of like showing. It's like a pro, like a with 30 him, second promo. With the makeup on. No. Here, I you want to see? Yeah, oh, let, let's, let's do, I want to do a reaction <laughs> video to this. <laughs> yeah, let's, 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 let's do, do it. Joe Rogan. Right, here we yeah. go. Hey, hey, uh, Dusty, bring that up again real quick. <laughs> all right, I'm bringing it up right now. <laughs> yeah. So, how was your guys? Yeah, I mean, my yeah, guys. Yeah. It was all right. What's hey, fucking know? Elon, like that shit up. In hell this time, bitch. Okay, yeah, here we go. My, uh, my cousin actually sent me this, sent me the picture and he was like, Look at this. And I was like, dude, that ain't, that ain't really what it is. He's like, yeah, that's, that's him. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it over to you. But just, just, oh well, yeah, he's got to be able to see it. Yeah. Just show it on the, on well, the can camera. You, can you do the camera. camera? Can't you do like a picture up Not here? Not a picture in picture. That, no, that's... like, can you like drag a browser up over here and we could all sit and watch it? I, he could, but. I mean, I could, but I really don't want to fuck up my recording. Oh, right okay. now. But I that's, know. that's, that's Joaquin Phoenix's joke. Just look at the, pic- oh. look at the TV. Yeah, we got to get your reaction to this. Now show Chubbs' reaction. Oh, I got him. Hold on. Uh, 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 no, no, here, I got it. Chubbs, what's your, what's your reaction to that? I don't know. Do you, do you guys really, do you guys really like that? Dude, I absolutely love it. Dude, I, dude I'm so excited. For, that's why yeah. I love it. It's, it's Joaquin Phoenix, man. Joaquin <laughs> <Yeah>. Phoenix! <laughs> <laughs> name, name three other Joaquin Phoenix movies. Dude, I don't know. Uh, Walk the Line. Uh, I just know he's also in, um, what's the show? Where he does the thumbs down. Ah. Uh, what is that? I, I don't know what you're talking about. He's in like I, a, I know what he's it is, like but I want you to do. I don't know. It's not um, not Vikings, is it? No, he's in... Um, I don't fucking know. I don't watch it. Game of Thrones? No, no you're talking... I know what you're talking about. So that's not him? No, about, that's him. You're talking no. about the movie that he's in. Right? Yeah, what is that? Commodus. Gladiator. Like, yeah. Oh, that's Gladiator. And he's playing yeah, okay. Commodus. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him in another movie, too, and I was surprised that was him. Signs? He's in Signs? Yeah, yeah it was Signs. Sign. No. What's, was signs. what's a gangster movie he's in? Isn't he in a gangster movie where he's like a like a bad cop or something? I can't remember what, the movie. I, I just recently watched it. I was like, that's Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, her when he's like in love with his oh, cell phone. Yes, that's what it was. He's in love with himself? His no, cell phone. His cell phone. Oh, his cell phone. It, it was his computer, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but it's like a Siri. Yeah, right? it's like a back and forth. But anyways. The movie just sounds a little wild. The Joker... The, yeah, the, the Joker just looks the actual awesome. Joker footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can't wait. Now I saw the they... Joker footage where he's uh, he's talking to a guy outside. Yeah, and you can't hear no audio. Yeah, he threw the he threw his nose down yeah. the road, but it didn't go all the way down the road, so the guy had to act like it did. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he watching well, he picked his nose off and threw it, and it was supposed to roll down the road, but it, like it hit something, it bounced underneath the car, and the guy was just like, oh, and acted like he chased it down the road. I was like, that's so cool, man. I like I was I was I telling I was talking to my cousin today. I was like, dude, how awesome would it be just to be on that set or just be like an extra in that movie? Oh, did you ever see Buffalo Soldiers? Now yeah. that's a that's a fucking good Joaquin that, Phoenix that movie. That is a good I've never even heard of it. Oh, he's in fucking uh, Eight Millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> is, John, is it Johnny California? Yeah. yeah. Is, it, is that his name? I think so. Yeah. He's the guy that was all like, um, he he knew all the underground Max stuff. Max California. Yeah. Max California. That's it. He didn't end up. He ended up dead in that movie, did he? Yeah. Dude slit his throat. Remember? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right, at, right at the end. Yeah. I, dude, that was like a 
That really pissed me off in that movie. <laughs> grind when they gears. Did that him. really grinded my gears. Because I liked his character, man. Yeah. He had nothing to do with all this. Yeah. You know, he didn't have to die. Right. It's bullshit. Man. Bullshit. I, I liked his character. The I Danzig Was it the Danzig guy that listened to... Yeah, the guy that looked like Danzig. Yeah. yeah. He was <laughs> listening to uh, Apex Twin, the I want your soul. Yeah. When he was in the house? Yeah. 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 When they, like, cat, when they go for him. Yeah. But when he jumped out of nowhere, I was like, ah! <laughs> 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 You remember that? That was your yeah. reaction. Yeah. Dusty react. Yeah. Totally. yeah, that's pretty Hashtag. much what happened. Hashtag reaction video. <laughs> what was another movie we were at where something jumped and I was like, ah! <laughs> remember that? When I jumped and you were like, dude, I saw that. I can't remember, man. I can't remember either. It's hard that was to funny. say. Because I remember I said, right when I did it, I'm like, fuck, he's going to give me shit for it because I knew he saw it. You, you want to know what really pisses me off? What? Dusty won't go see scary movies with me. Mm. Mm. I want to see, Hall- see Halloween with you. He Now, he says that. Uh, right. No, I'm it, gonna see Halloween. It's on record. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go see it. He's gonna see it, dude. I've, I've been kind of excited for it. Really, you need to be. Yeah, this is Danny McBride. Yeah, well, he's not <laughs> in it. No, he like he wrote some of it. Yeah, which is really cool. Which I didn't know he was like in in the horror movies. You know, it's really cool. I didn't know it either. <gasps> Rob Zombie wrote a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure did. They got a new one coming out. Does he? Yeah, yeah he's but... got the um. Um, uh, something from hell. Uh, uh the three from hell. The three from hell. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and it, it's pretty close to being done from what I read. Hmm. But it's still gonna be a while before it's out. Yeah, but uh, I watched that with you. What about that Captain Marvel footage? Are we into that? Um, you know what really grinds my gears? What? Is that Marvel yeah. didn't do none of these movies in order. What do you mean? Like none of these yeah. movies are really in order. They're not chronological. Yeah, like come on. Like if you're gonna eventually have them piece together, do them in order. That. I don't know. Am I uh, the only person who thinks that way? I mean, I, well, uh, I don't know what you're uh, saying exactly. He's saying they're not in it's order. A, yeah. Well, like, but it takes place in the nineties. If they had a bigger plan for this, they're eventually is going to have a big picture. Yeah. <laughs> Why not put them in order? <laughs> but, see, now, so you know who Captain Marvel is when Iron Man's. Like, are, honestly, like, I didn't know shit about Captain Marvel till Jerry said something about, "Oh, it's Captain Marvel in the new Avengers movie," and I was like, "Who the fuck's Captain Marvel?" Right. And also, and who he the was fuck's like, the Guardians of the Galaxy? Chick. Yeah, they were actually not that popular yeah. until they made the movie about them. But I'm saying I didn't know who she was. Yeah. So, like, when all of a sudden I'm like, I didn't know, I thought this was going to be, like, close to the end of it. Now they're bringing a new character in? Well, like, okay, so for, do you, okay, do you, so do you, for, think, do you think the Marvel Universe will ever stop? No. Oh, that's a good question. Dude, it's so much money. It is so much money, yeah. but I mean, like, at some point, they have to stop making If they making do, them. okay. They'll if, do them over. If they made the Iron Fist the way it is on Netflix, and they made that shit into a movie, that would be a big hurt <laughs> to Marvel. Is it bad? Dude, it's the fucking, it's it's shit. Iron Fist is shit? The first really? season is shit. So does like, that I don't even gears? want to watch the second season. All right, look. You know what You know what will make you feel better? What? Watch The Punisher. I, I do need yeah. to watch the Punisher. Ten out of ten on Punisher. Dude, I need Punisher's to get on. Great, like I, I haven't watched the def- I stopped with the Iron Fist. I haven't watched the fucking another. Marvel Dude, you gotta show watch the Punisher because the Iron Fist was such shit. It was gotta, so bad. You gotta watch Punisher. Dude, hands down. Like you need to just leave right now and go watch Punisher. I, I will. I do want to watch the Punisher. You need to watch. Dude, I binge watched yeah. him in uh, a day and a half. Yeah. Man. Dude, dude, it's fucking. And I watched him again. Dude, he plays up. Uh, was it John Bernthal? Yeah. Dude plays up. Well, no, he's awesome. in the second season of Daredevil, awesome and and yeah. like they made a Daredevil or a Punisher movie mm-hmm. because of how good he was in that Daredevil too. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I like I like the I like the the John Travolta Punisher. I thought he was good. I can't remember his name. Oh, uh, that was uh Todd Todd yeah. uh, Tom Tom. Something? He's not in a lot of other stuff. He's in the Mist. He's the, yeah, 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 yeah. I I might have fucked his name up. I mean, his it name might, probably isn't something with a T. It might not be. Yeah, I can't. I might have met, I, I completely Dude, well, fucked off. You know what really pisses me off? When you can't think of something that you've thought of a thousand fucking times. <laughs> fucking Jared Leto. Yeah, fucking Jared <laughs> Leto. Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> exactly. Worst yeah. Joker of all time. Yeah, for sure. Hands yeah. down. Like, I'm already more blown away by the 30 the seconds. The Joaquin Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. Than I was the entire what you, performance. What do you think? Are they going to do the killing joke or like the first half of the I think this is pretty joke? much what the killing yeah, joke. They, they said yeah. it's a lot of the elements from the okay, killing Okay, so it's an origin story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an origin story. Gotcha. Straight up origin story. Yeah. Like, straight up origin story. From the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> straight Straight. Like, that goes story. back to like... His origin of like how he <laughs> like when he originally became a, like a failed comedian or whatever. Yeah, it's like an origin story. <laughs> yeah. It's basically just a big origin story. 
But anyways, I'm stoked about this movie. <laughs> but how do you think yeah. it'll end? Like, do you think it'll end with him getting the makeup? No, I think it'll end with no. him and Batman meeting. Do you but think it'll Batman? be Batman? I know this going to say. Which, which Batman? Who's going to play Batman? Yeah. I think they ought to have Leonardo DiCaprio do it because he was originally the first pick for the Joker. Uh, I, but, but I like that, that, that idea. Was the first internet yeah. rumor. Got yeah. his name. Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. You're right. Dude, he... he would kill me about that, which is always cool about that movie. And this is really just a small thing. Is that he walked in that building using a hunting bow and just like killed like four dudes with that bow. That was awesome. Yeah, the, good, good flick. The yeah. problem I had with that movie was like the, not enough Kevin Nash in my that, opinion. And like oh, the Russian. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Need, needed more Kevin Nash. Yeah, yeah. a lot more Kevin Nash. A lot, like ninety percent. Like just Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash should have just been puncher. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's he could a do horrible it. Punisher. Up. He's too big. Nah. Oh, no, fuck. No. Well, what, he's too. What's big. wrong with that? Yeah. I mean, like he's just too tall. He's just too tall for a Punisher. Would Why you not? want to see like some pipsqueak robbing a like, no, but, uh, liquor store, no. and then he just like grabs no. him and fucking puts him up on the shoulders, puts no, him, like a puts power her, bomb his ass. That's the, that's yeah. the thing about Punisher though. He's like built like he's not like, but he's not like tall. He's like a st- not a short. He's not really short, but he's not really tall. He's just a stocky guy. I mean, he was a he was an agent, right? Or he's an ex uh cop. Ex, just ex a cop. cop FBI or something. Cop. Uh, no, he's yeah. ex military, wasn't he? No, that's Probably. special the forces. New, that's the, the new original one. Yeah. Frank Castle was just a he's cop. A cop. Yeah. He was going after the mob and the mob killed his whole family mm-hmm. and tried to kill him in a car bomb. Yeah. But uh fucking Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane. The comedy elements of that movie I couldn't stand. When he was like hurting that guy with a fucking popsicle and shit. You could not convi- convince me that I was being like blowtorch because but, of the popsicle. But he is blowtorch the funny thing was he's blowtorching the steak. Yeah, so you <laughs> could smell it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you you didn't care for that? No. I, I I I loved that scene. That's your I, that's you your know, Saturday. What night. I what yeah. I thought of you as know, like a as a Punisher movie was John Bernthal. Like that, that, that kind good. of character, you know. Yeah. Did you ever see the uh like the early nineties, the uh um, Dolph Lundgren? Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. That was like, he was, really he's bad. a big motherfucker that yeah. played the Punisher. Yeah, uh, maybe, but, maybe he's right, man. Yeah, you know, maybe he's big, right. Big tall fucking Russian dude. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but he was like, they killed my family. Like that's the way he fucking talks the whole movie. Yeah, but that's what I like about Bernthal, man. He's got a lot of like dude, he's got a lot of like emotion. Like he's a really like good emotional Oh actor. yeah. Like that's what when he was getting when he's in that chair getting beat up. Remember oh, when they put him in the chair and he was like really really beat up. Oh, there towards the end. Yeah, right at the end. Yeah, they were really dude. Out with him. That was fucking cool. That, that whole thing was awesome. The like, rooftop scene yeah. with him and the daredevil, where he's like, you know, the difference between you and me, Red. When you hit them, they get back up. When I hit them, they stay down. Yeah. And then he's like, you're just one bad day away from becoming me. That kind of like that that conversation that he had with Daredevil was fucking tits. Dude, he's a great actor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, he plays Punisher perfect. You know who's not a great actor? Fucking Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Hey, All man. right, so I mean. sir, I don't want to hijack this, but yeah. I remember when Jared, the Jared Leto Joker came out when he was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna hurt you really, really bad." You yeah. Remember that? Yeah. And I was like. Eh. And I didn't I feel th- the same way that I do. Like, this Joaquin Phoenix is fucking awesome. When like, they made wait. it look like the vat of fucking toxic chemicals that he fell in was in, like, the basement of a fucking hot Dildo topic. Dildo factory? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. when I was like, this is this shit's going to be terrible. Yeah. Now, Harley Quinn on the other hand. Damn it. Yeah, so that's, that's the Very thing. good. That's the other thing I was going to ask. So, she's supposed to have a movie, right? They're saying if, she's supposed to. Yeah. If I was her, I'd stop. I wouldn't you think make so? A, I wouldn't make another one. Just because of the, she's the, the best, was before? She's the best thing about that movie. But you don't but think she's that was, good. It was the just movie that bad. was shitty. Yeah. yeah. And DC is still running the shit the way they run shit. <laughs> shit. And if you made, yeah, <laughs> shit. Like shit. And if they make a movie that's centered around her and she's the main character, it's still going to be shit. Yeah. And then she's going to get blamed for it and it's going to be history. But you know what? Wonder Woman's a different it, story. It could suck. But she's so hot as Harley Quinn. But it's going to ruin it the fucking franchise. It doesn't matter. Man. The franchise look, is already ruined. Look at Pamela Anderson, man. She did that movie Barbed Barb Wire. Wire. Totally fucking shot her career straight up. Movie sucked. But they didn't matter through Barbed Wire movie. too. <laughs> no, they didn't need to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I've never seen that movie. It's garbage. You're not gonna remember like when it first came out. I was yeah. like, oh man, I gotta get my hands yeah. on a copy of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I'm watching. It, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. And I'm like, 
Wow, this movie really fucking sucks. <laughs> that was back when, sucks. when Wait porn a was so rare. Wait a second. Wait a second. That was cool for like five seconds, and now it sucks again. <laughs> no, I mean, that's literally right. yeah, how yeah, yeah. wire was. Yeah. Well, you guys don't remember Stripperella? Like old school Stripperella? Yeah, like she was like the cartoon on Spike TV. Remember they had Stripperella? It was a cartoon based oh, after remember. her. No. Oh, yeah. it she was, was like a stripper superhero or some shit. Yeah. I you guys never watched that? No, no, I never watched it, but I kind of remember. Oh man, it, it was so memories. bad. It was good. Yeah, like a her... fucking Pamela Anderson cartoon. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure it's <laughs> Pamela Anderson. That would be horrible. <laughs> like you're so hot. We're gonna t- <laughs> we're gonna draw you. <laughs> it was like it was like a fucking who creates this shit. <laughs> it was like an adult Kim Possible. <laughs> like you're so hot. We're gonna make a show based on you. But here's the catch. It's a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to draw you up, baby. Ew. Put the hot yeah. chick and just use her voice. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, we don't even have to use your voice. Yeah. Let's go use your likeness. You can stay <laughs> stay away. <laughs> we'll, we'll get some yeah, half yeah. actor to do And we'll just say voice. it's Pamela Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. Couldn't go wrong. You guys me. never saw it. No. no. Yeah. God, how am I like the one that's seen it? You guys haven't. I could have swore you guys would have known about it. How long ago was this? Uh, dude, it was... It was like when Spike TV kind of first started. Oh, when it came first around. Came out? Yeah, so that was like what 2000, Ooh. 2001, 2000. Not been that long. I think so. I think Spike TV's been around a while now. I just remember watching it like in middle school and high school. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It doesn't seem like they've been around that long. Maybe like ten years. Maybe hell, maybe even fifteen. Years. I remember when Spike TV became cool. Dude, it became cool when I started showing UFC, and then fucking uh, Viacom got all shitty. Like, oh, we want more money, and they're like, fuck that. Hmm. No, or, or the UFC one more, something like that. And then they're just kind of like, nope, we'll go somewhere else. And then it's on that big Fox deal. Like, fuck, they're going to whack it out. <laughs> and, they, and they have. Yeah. Dude, when it was on Spike, For it was sure. great, dude. Everything, dude, it, that that was the cool thing about Spike. And I think MTV kind of did good with it at first. It was a dude's network. For dudes, like, there was not, I don't think there was, was there ever really a, just a network just for dudes? So like, bro, we're showing manly shit 24-7, 365. I think TBS mm-hmm. tried it. Yeah. But they never, they didn't, they didn't stick with the yeah. concept. When Spike first came out, it was like, dude, I got Spike, let's go watch that shit. Just because I was that age where, Because you know? TBS, is it TBS or TNT? Am I thinking of TNT? Because there's like one of these channels, they had like a wrestling, and then they had like a, like a... Yep. Monster Theater with Gilbert Gottfried, yeah. or one of the people. No, no, the Gilbert Gottfried was USA up all night. Was it USA? Yeah. Did they have wrestling? Yeah, they had wrestling. Yeah. Maybe that's what it's, I was watching. USA still it was like, got wrestling. Uh, you're talking about like Joe, mostly Joe male. Bob Briggs. Yeah, Joe Bob about? Briggs, yeah. That, I think, was TNT. Oh, fuck, now my arguments shit. <laughs> but there was, there was other channels that like would go with male driven formats but yeah. spike was like announced like yeah. we're male tv or they had yeah. like the guy awards and stuff like yeah, that yeah yeah i remember you guys that. remember the man show yeah with uh, with uh and corolla and, joe uh, rogan wasn't it joe rogan no, it wasn't no. Joe, rogan. joe rogan did it after the oh first it was show. joe yeah, rogan after, and uh something like that and uh the other guy um he was a fu- he's a really funny comedian but he's dark as fuck uh he did a Does girls gone wild video too he has him on it. He talked about the time that he did DMT and like it was the scariest DMT trip that he'd ever witnessed. Really? He'd never seen like a bad trip until he saw Doug Stanhope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doug, Doug Stanhope. Stanhope yeah. And Joe Rogan did the man show after Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla. Yeah, that's what it was. Who's the machine? What's his name? Bert, Bert, Bert Kreischer. Yeah, have you watched, you yeah, guys watched his new stand up? No. Yeah, oh, you haven't yeah, watched it on Netflix? No. Dude, I don't have Netflix. Oh, that's right. Dude, I, it's good. I've seen it's it good. on there. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's amazing, but it's good. Yeah. It's funny. It's his style. Yeah. Uh, there towards the end, it kind of got predictable, like his some of his stuff did, but but it was good. You ever want to watch your, like, have your mind blown by comedy? Watch Doug Stanhope. I want I need to watch, like... Like, I, I think it's called Deadbeat Superhero or something like that. That's a really good special. Yeah. But it's dark. <laughs> I need to just sit down and just watch specials and What's, just, like... Watch him because that's something I've never really. Best special. Three, oh. two, one. Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle killing, killing him softly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. We all said the same thing. Yeah. yeah Grab your cheeks, lift your sack. Yep. Yeah. I want to watch it now. That's yeah. the best one, hands yeah. down, yeah. without a doubt. After the one. show, we should watch some stand-up we comedy. Should, yeah. Yeah. We yeah. I want to. I want to watch that. That. Oh, well, yeah. can we watch like a Doug Stanhope clip or like that's like, fine. like a bit? Yeah. Because yeah. it's good. Yeah. 
I'll be able to pick one out for us. Shit, imagine if Bruce was here when we were talking about this. Oh, I know. Oh, he'd man. be all over. He'd be... You know who he... His dick would be right through the hole of this table right now. <laughs> you know what really grinds his gears? <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. He'd be like... Trigger. Uh, 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 that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I still want to know what the, he has to do say. The, do the... Do the... Yeah. Whatever. Oh, uh... You do, do it better than me. Black Hawk Helicopters! Everywhere.com, TV. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. Is that, is, that a, is that still a website? President Prob- yeah, yeah. TV? Really? Is yeah. it? It's still. It's. It's still not he, fully like taken down. Yeah, no, because it's him. I mean, like, is it his? Yeah, channel. but I thought the people that um, I thought the internet service company was just like, <laughs> like no, like the whoever's hosting them. You know, bad would suck. For a hosting company to sh- like to boot a, like, like boot a website off service. the internet, so it's a yeah, for- dude. It's, it's the a- day that happens, mine's gonna be fucking blown, dude. What do you call it when you type in a thing and then it goes takes you automatically to a different website? A redirect. A redirect. Yeah. It's a re- redirect to Infowars. TV. Infowars. Com. Okay. TV. TV. Infowars. Com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black Hawk Helicopters. <laughs> Pizza Gate. Yeah. Turn into frogs. Frogs Gate. Yeah. yeah. That's gay but. frogs. <laughs> That's just one thing. Man. We got any Never comments? Run. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple here. Uh, Joshua Williams, uh, who you guys remember from last week. Well, uh, daggum! That's right. Uh, he says, haters gonna hate. Make sure we can't see the video. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. We got another one from, uh, another one from Josh. Let's go to Joey Pie here. Joey says, Pie! Fuck Josh Gordon. Fuck Tyron Taylor. <laughs> fuck Gold Star oh, Chili. Man. Oh, man. You're a Lord Did you see the Bears savior. won a game? It's I'm sure, has he been all about it? No, oh, it's, yeah. uh, it's the... Browns. The Browns. Yeah, yes. the Browns. Yeah. Cleveland Browns. My bad. Had to pull the man Cleveland. I'm just kidding. Hot Browns. Hot Browns. I hate to interject here. I watched that Moot Moomer, the trailer for Shot Caller. Mm-hmm. How, how we were like, oh, man, I want to see that. Jim Berthal. Yeah. I watched that. Oh, you did? Is I, it good? Yeah. I, I mean, it was kind of like, it's just, it's so. Predictable? No, it, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> but, like, the whole, he, basically what it is, he's just like, he's a stockbroker or some shit. Uh. And he, he gets, he gets, he has a few too many one night out with some friends, uh, gets into an accident, runs the red light, kills his friend, blows the breathalyzer. Yeah. He, he's legally drunk. Uh, friend dies or whatever. And then he makes a deal. So he only has to go for like 17 months or some shit. Right? Oh man. Yeah. And that's all he's got to do. 17 fucking months. Like the first day he's in there, he's like, I gotta, I gotta be friends with a gang. Mm-hmm. So like, and then like as soon as like he makes friends with the gang. He's like he's hardcore in it, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember the like I remember the. Video. Is it based and on a true story? I, I hope not. Oh, okay. Because that would make no fucking sense. Yeah. Like it, literally, he went. Oh, from, like, so like they didn't? They didn't like? They were just like, okay, you're in the gang now, and then he's like a gangster. Well, he killed yeah. somebody. Like I thought the guy like ran up on him and he killed him, and they're like, hey, we like you know we like him, and he's like, oh yeah, I'll join that gang. It wasn't like that. I mean, kind of like yeah. they approached him. Yeah. After he killed that dude, and he, the, he, like, he didn't kill a dude. Uh, no, he just like. Some dude bumped him, and then he was just like, you know, ah. my bad or whatever. And he's like, what, you just going to stand there? What, you little bitch? You ain't going to do nothing? And then he was just like, fuck, if I don't fight this dude, I want to be labeled like a total pussy. Mm. And, and, he, and like he fucking started attacking this dude. The Nazi guys were like, we, we need to make friends with that guy. Mm. He could kick our ass. <laughs> you know? Oh, so they were threatened by him. Not really, no. Mm. They really didn't say anything. Oh, okay. He could kick their ass. I'm just saying. It went from like, you know, Steve Urkel, gangster level, to like straight Scarface, <laughs> yeah. American history. Like it just type went, just moved level. too fast. Yeah. yeah, it was like instant. Yeah, dude. Oh, um, you know, we were talking about Joe Rogan, and it grinds your guys' gears. Uh, there was fucking, fucking Joe. Joe Rogan. Rogan. There was a guy that was uh, he got falsely accused of uh, murdering a lady on his podcast. Like he and he told a him cop like, a lady and a guy. Yeah, that too. <laughs> that sounds like a massacre. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, he 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 that he supposedly murdered some lady, and um, I think he's ended up like stress confessing about it. Like they were putting yeah. all kinds of stress on him. I don't know. It was just an insane. Like the whole story about it's crazy because like he got a, like he he broke out of jail, or like he was like on like uh, they were doing you know how they do like the worker programs, mm-hmm. or like or they were swapping them, or they were changing jails. One of the two. But they went to get the bathroom, and he was able to escape. And, uh, dude, it was just a crazy story. I ain't gonna go on about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a crazy story. It's like, since we we're talking about, he was talking about, uh, what's it called? Shot collar. Yeah, shot collar. So it was kind of like that. Except I don't think the dude really became hard or like in a gang, but he kind of felt that way. He had to do that when he was in jail. Yeah, even. S- sounds like a more manly version of, uh, what was that Will Ferrell movie? Get Hard. Get Hard? Yeah. 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 Like a hardcore version of that. <laughs> yeah. 
With Kevin Smith, right? No, uh, Kevin, uh, oh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Yeah. yeah, you know, Kevin Hart. I fucking, for the record, I fucking hate Kevin Hart. I thought you were going to say you hate Kevin Smith. I was like, no. <laughs> what? No, I hate Kevin Hart. Yeah, he was on the radio this morning. He's, a- oh, God. but you know what? You know what? A lot of people, a lot of comedians are actually say that he's like really, really nice and like he, he will he has give to be you nice because he's like four foot three. Well, that, but he he actually gives like comedy like comedians opportunities. Like they, he doesn't like hog the whole show. He's like, well, I'll break this down and give these people more more time on stage to get more recognition. And you know, and I, mean, I, I think sometimes he'll so have even people does come he up write, after him. Does he write all of his own material? I don't know if he does or not. But, but I think he did before. Yeah. But I don't know if he does now. But I just know that he is, he's nice to other comics and they, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. he lets them have their shot of like, you know, I think this person's good. I'll let them have some extra time in front of me and things like that. So I've, I've heard that and I've heard multiple people say that. I'm like, mm. that's kind of cool. Even though he, he plays some like whack ass characters like in He movies, just plays but, himself. Yeah. yeah. I can't stand his and voice. Over and over and over. And yeah. Over. I can't stand my voice, but I can't stand his voice. Like you see, uh, that, um, we went to see Jumanji and yeah. like. Wish they're doing another one. Are they? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Is The Rock going to be in this one, too? I don't know. Probably. I know Kevin Hart is because he was talking about it on the radio. <clears throat> so, like, The Rock is playing, like, a dweeb, and then uh, um, Jack Black is playing a teenage girl, and uh, the hot chick of the movie from Doctor Who. Um, Who? <laughs> I want to say. Mike Jones. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to think of her name. But anyway, she's, well, like, playing Wasn't a- she in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, too? Yeah, she's uh, Gamora's sister. Yeah, the, the green the robot. The robot, though. Is she green or like Karen Gillum? Karen Gill. Karen. Karen Gilliam or Gilliam, Gilliam or yeah. something. Yeah. Gilliam. Karen. Gillum. Well, anyway, <laughs> but she's playing like a not hot girl, which isn't like that hard for like a hot chick. Oh, I just gotta pretend like I'm not hot. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll try I to. Pre- I'll try I have to, to. I have to pretend like I'm not hot right. all the time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, just, I have to turn it off. <laughs> but like, she doesn't know how to like toss her hair to get <laughs> yeah. stuck in her face and stuff. And like, uh, Kevin Hart is playing like this jock football player, but really he's just playing Kevin Hart. He's just playing Kevin Hart. He's just doing, it's like if the jock football player had to act like Kevin Hart before he went into the video game. Yeah. Because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. Like everybody else is playing somebody else, but Kevin Hart's just playing Kevin Hart. Yeah. It's weird. Well, I don't know. I guess what also was weird was like the guy was the jock. And then, like, Kevin Hart didn't have, like, no skill at all. Is that what you mean? Or, is, or just Kevin Hart's well, playing but Kevin like, Hart himself? But, like, Jack Black had to pretend to be a teenage girl. Yeah. And, like, uh, I think it's Karen Hart. Or Karen ooh, Gillum. Gillum, whatever. Um, i telling you, that's who it is, I think. Yeah. I might I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, like, she's playing something that she's not. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like, he's just playing himself. He's just doing he Kevin already, Hart. Yeah, yeah like yeah. it's like the kid transitioned into Kevin Hart when he became the video game. Yeah, they they tried to make it seem like he was like Kevin Hart, like with some of the dialogue that they gave him. Maybe a like, little bit. Was, yeah, but it was weak as fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden, just because it's fucking Kevin Hart, he's doing yeah. Kevin Hart. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like he cool realized stuff. that he had Kevin Hart's body, so he's like, I get to do all the stuff that Kevin Hart does, and not just make height. Like I used to be tall. Yeah, no, we're the other three and a half feet, feet of my, of my body. body, which is a Kevin Hart joke, <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's it. He does that on stage. No, but I'm oh. saying like he does it like a Kevin Hart joke. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah. he does a height joke. He yeah. always talks about his height. Yeah. It's like if you became Jim Carrey, and uh, like in the video game, like if Jim Carrey was play like or, or Robin Williams. Do you guys ever watch a Living Color growing up? Yeah, you did. Is well, I watched like it the, on DVD. At- the pilot or whatever. Jim Carrey. Yeah, he was in the whole series. Yeah, but, but it was like I, I heard. That they're going to be rebooting that. Jim Carrey is going to be a part of it. But could he do it? I don't know. Yeah. Well, you haven't seen he's the new so it's Showtime? Weird. Uh, he, there's like in a Showtime show or HBO or something uh, where he does, I can't remember the name of the show. He does the children's show? Or yeah. Whatever. Where he's like playing like a Mr. Rogers. But or it's something. weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's so weird. Kidding. It's not, he's not. It's called Kidding. It, yeah. Yeah. It's not like he's doing The Mask or Ace Ventura or uh, Liar Liar, which yeah. he's playing Jim Carrey. You I, know what I, I mean? like him in a serious role. I like him in a serious role too, but you're talking about him coming back to doing Living Color. But I don't, yeah, I don't but think I that. I could see him do it. Though. Could he go back to being Fuck Jim yeah, Carrey from could. the 90s? Yes. I don't think he could. He's so I weird. Think, yeah, For yeah. enough money, he'd do Fire Marshal Bill again. But I'm wondering if it'll be like Fire Marshal Bill or it'll be this new Jim Carrey. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be the new. He'd, he'd take he, it back. Well, you didn't think he do he, that I'm thing saying, with College Humor? Didn't he do that with College Humor? That, uh, what was that? Uh, Cold Dead Hands? Didn't he? Wasn't that? But it's weird. In Living Color? 
Maybe could have been like that. Could have been a sketch from that one, couldn't it? Maybe because that was a sketch yeah. show. Yeah, it was like Saturday Night Live. That, yeah, yeah, so it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was weird. Yeah, you know you what know, I mean. It's not that wasn't him nothing from the that 90s. he really played. Well, well, he put on the makeup and stuff to look like Charlton stick, Heston. Ch- like stickish man. They're, yeah. they're like, I gotta stick with the times. You gotta talk about something serious. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if when he comes back, if they reboot uh, in Living Color. Yeah. Are they going to try to do old and living color, mm-hmm. or are they going to do like a new, you know, modern and living color? I think it, it'll, it'll be it, it'll be the new modern, modern, but it'll be old it'd be the school old, style yeah. for sure. That's what I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if Jim Carrey. I keep saying that's what I'm wondering, but I'm wondering if Jim Carrey. <laughs> you know what I really wonder about. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> why Tim's gears wonder? I'm, off my, wonder. Game. I'm yeah. off my game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would. I would love to see a reboot. I of think all right, the the reboot of I wonder how weird color be. was going to be. Oh, like... I keep saying I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end the show. He's like the <laughs> Owen. I wonder. <laughs> He's like Owen Wilson. I wonder. <laughs> like you can't do a wow with that, dude. Oh my gosh! I wanted to call you the other night. I just he said Owen Wilson. I thought of this. Yeah. Remember the movie Dream a Little Dream with the two Corys in it? Yeah. I watched that about a week ago. Right. I remember you saying something. Do about you remember like the dude in the movie Jewel? Like the guy who had like the gun at the end, he was gonna shoot that other guy. I remember that, but I don't, I don't remember anything. You need to watch that movie again, okay? And pay attention to that character. It is fucking Owen Wilson. It's not Owen. Oh Wilson, yeah, but it's somebody. Dude, Owen Wilson stole his whole <laughs> shtick from this guy. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. That's dude, wow. Like, like, I was so convinced it was him. I had to IMDb, and I was like, I didn't know fucking <laughs> Owen Wilson was in this movie. And like, I'm looking up, like, it's not him, man. Like, it's somebody else. It's like. That is fucking Owen Wilson right there, man. His That's fucking funny. shtick. Oh, dude, it was. If, if you could yeah. have any shtick, what would it be? If I'm like an actor. Joe like, who Pesci. would you be like? Oh, like? Who would you be like? Hold Joe on, hold Pesci. on. This, this has to be like a comedy shtick, not like a uh, serious shtick. B- before I say who I want, who would you guys pick as, as, as me? Oh, for you? Yeah. Mm. Uh, as like a, maybe, do you want to do comedy? Are stick we or just comedy? in general stick? Doesn't matter, just a, a shtick. As you? No, just, just like an actor. Yeah, general, I know, but I'm like... Who, prob- who would play me in a movie about my life? The dude that plays the guy in the trailer park boys. <laughs> Ricky? <Yeah. laughs> I, was thinking, I want to see that I'll as like a that. Jerry story played by Ricky. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Like, you tell him stories and like they get they write a whole script about it and he plays you. I would love that. Like, that'd be cool. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> not like, you know, awesome or weird that would be? <laughs> that would be pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. Not a lot. Like, like a true story. Like, yeah. oh, that was me. Is this that is who, based is that after who, me. Is that who you'd pick that's, for me? That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I would agree I don't with know. that. I would say that just because he looks like you, but like, if you were like, if you lived in Canada in a trailer park, I think you'd just be like, uh, you think I'd <laughs> be just like Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> I, I pretty much would be. Yeah. Not saying, and you're not, you're not saying you're stupid, but you know what I mean. I was alright, man. I got my grade 10. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, fucking love man. Ricky, man. Yeah. I would say probably Kevin Ricky Smith, is. but like it'd have to be Ooh, Kevin Smith one. from the yeah. 90s. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Really? I think so. I think he could do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think he could. I think he could do it. Like our, the angst of like the nineties. Oh yeah. You know, or like, I guess like the early two thousands, but I think he was a good voice of the era. Like kind of like the trailer park boys is like more our comedy. Yeah. I think if we were trying to mirror our life, that would be a good way to go. Think so? Yeah. You never talk, bro? Yeah. For like a day. (laughs) I actually did try to not talk once. Oh yeah. And it was super creepy. Like to be like, to be like him for a day. No, just, you know, just to not talk. Yeah. I tried it once. Like you woke up one day and were like, well, fuck talking today. Yeah. I'm going to see how long I can hold this out. Yeah. I've had days where. It was where, really weird, man. Where, uh, like you, I, I wake up and I realize I'd spent like up until 10 o'clock that day. And I like, I, I go to like voice, uh, in, in, you know, thought, yeah. right? I'm just going to give, talk to myself because nobody, I ain't got nobody else to talk to. And then I, some, for some reason, like look at the time and go, man, I, I've been up since what, six o'clock. And I haven't said a damn word up until this point, you know? And oh, then I'm yeah. like, should I really fuck up this moment right now by talking? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how long I can hold this out. And just like, and then right like, about then, someone walks in the room and then you're like, yep, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. 
that's pretty much what happens, right? I've had days like that. Yeah, yeah. I think where I go, or like I'll think I, I haven't fucking pissed all day. <laughs> Those are weird. And then you're like, but I don't have to piss right now. Yeah, and but then but you thinking start, about it, yep. kind of makes you feel yeah, like you have yeah. to because you start monitoring your body, like you go, you start thinking about everything, making sure your bladder's got to be full as fuck. I drink a gallon of milk before I get work. Why don't I have to piss? Oh man, we need to cut this out right now. <laughs> gonna, we gotta cut this out right man. now. That really fucking grinds my gears, man. Holy Jesus. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Alright. This is a weird show. I'm done. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I totally it. lost We went there. weird. Yeah. Yep. Got weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Why did I do that? Why did you do that? I don't know. Just to remind everybody, you can follow us on, uh, Facebook, which if you're watching us live right now, you already do that. Yeah. Uh, we're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. You can find our videos on the YouTube. Hell, we're even on the Snapchat. I've been fucking around with that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen your snaps. Yeah, I mean, they're super lame, but huh. we're, we're on there. Day in the life. Yeah, kind of sort of. Yeah. You know who really, above anything, really pisses me off? Trump. Fucking Anthony <laughs> Kiedis. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, no. I think I've been killing Jerry this week. No, it's not, not even that, man. It's not? It's, it's, I tried it, every, man. every fucking time I turn on EBN, I'm like, all right, here's a, here's a good song. I can listen to that. Oh, next up, fucking Chili Peppers. Motherfucker. <laughs> so I switched to fucking 96 Rock. And I'm like, oh, all right, all right. This song's, it's a good song, but it's over. But what are they playing next? Fucking Chili Peppers, <laughs> man. And it's, it's always some bullshit ass Californication or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or the bridge. Yeah. Oh, that, it just, it fucking sucks, man. <laughs> yeah. Horse Or, or snow. Know, they play snow a lot, too. I don't know that. Song. I don't know that. Is that a new Chili Pepper song? It's like newer. I think That's, it's from yeah. a stadium arcadium. Hmm. That's probably yeah. why I don't know it. Yeah, yeah. They play it a lot. Yeah. Well, grinds my gears. Yeah. It's Flea turning up in Back to the Future, too. Yeah. And three. I know, but like I, I every time I see him, I'm like, it's fucking flea. What's he, yeah. what's he doing there? He's fucking up my movie. Like I get, I, I for some reason, I'll see Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future, and I won't think that's Michael J. Fox. I think that's Marty McFly. Same thing with Christopher Lloyd. When I, Billy Zane throws me off a little bit when I see Billy Zane because I think, oh, that's Billy Zane. Yeah. But like everybody in that movie, for some reason, is entirely believable in their role. And then when I see fucking what's his. It's needles. Flea. Needles, yeah. yeah. Needles. Needles. <laughs> Come on, man. Nobody. And I yeah. mean, nobody, nobody calls, calls me chicken. chicken. In my own house or something like that. It's like, I think it says, I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and then thanks, McFly. Oh, yeah. It fucking drives me nuts every I time I that. see it. And he has like a bit, and then he's in the third movie too. He turns up in the truck, but at least like he's not talking and shit. Right. For some reason, man, Fleas always throws me nuts. Fucking Takes me out of the movie. That whole Dude, band. When he was in Baby Driver, I was just like watching it and all of a sudden I was like, he's hey, better. is that Michael Myers? Yeah. He's, cause he gets killed. But too. the thing is, well, that, but I'm like, I'm sitting there and it's like, right before he dies, I'm like, that's Flea. <laughs> I remember Jerry going, yeah, he didn't know he was in this. And I was like, no. And it was like, I didn't know that was him until like all the way to the end. Oh, that was kind of funny. I wouldn't mind watching that movie right now too. Baby Driver? Yeah. yeah. It's good. I've been wanting to rewatch it. The, I, I just think can't it's, bring myself to do it, man. So, the music goes so well in that movie. Yeah. It's like a, it's a good, like, chill. But at the end, it gets crazy. I wouldn't even call it crazy, man. Oh, like, that chick oh, in that movie is super cute, too. Yeah. The waitress chick? She, yeah, she's in, uh, what movie is she in? Or, or, um, Netflix series that she's in. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but yeah, she was pretty cute. It's a good chill flick. I still think, uh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Know. Yeah. That's just classic. Yeah. I'm with you there. And you know, I, I hate to say this, uh, Jim Brewer. Hardcore. Hardcore. It's like right there. Yeah. Man. Like so close to taking the number one spot. That. It's so good. I, I remember the first time I watched that special. What the hell? It's going on. on in in here. Here. <laughs> and then like the lights and the, like the, everything was just, I'd never seen that in a comedy special before. That no, was awesome. And then he does the ACDC nursery rhymes at the end. Oh, As yeah. like kindergarten teachers. And then, uh, he's, uh, what's the song? The Hokey Pokey. You do the Hokey Pokey. Yeah. You push it that foot. <laughs> and then, darn it. Then you shake it. Darn. Shake it. Darn. 
shake it all about. <laughs> he Doing does the it, hokey pokey. He does it perfect, man. Yeah. It's great. I, I saw that, like, I was like, who? Nobody's ever done this before, no. ever. And nobody's done it since. Nope. And been that good. Yeah. Nobody. Full interaction with the band, everything. So good. Never even heard of it. <laughs> oh, then we gotta watch we that. We gotta watch that. If you've never seen it if before. You've never seen no, it. I ain't never even heard of it. Dude. You've, you've heard of it. Oh, who is it? Half Baked. Jim Brewer, bro. Fuck. No, nah, like, he's not the fuck. I'm not guy. gonna do what y'all think, think I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do. Split it out, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know who he is or seen any of his stuff. You've seen Half Baked, right? Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I've seen it like once. He's, he's the kindergarten teacher guy or whatever. Oh, okay. No, the kindergarten teacher goes to jail. That's oh, yeah, Harlan yeah, Williams. Yeah, 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 you're right. He works he's at, a, uh. Where's the record store? Yeah, the it? record store, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> That really grinds my fucking ears. <laughs> I don't know just who the fuck don't, we're talking about. Dude, I've only seen that movie like once. Uh, but I, I don't know who. Goat Boy, Boy from Saturday Night Live. No. Yeah, he also did the Joe Pesci uh, talk show where, like, he all every uh, time they'd end the sketch, he'd like beat somebody with a foam baseball bat. No, and it was pretty good too. Huh. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to show them. All right. Yeah, we gotta watch that. Dustin, who do you think would play Tim in a comedy movie? In a comedy movie. Yeah. In a comedy movie. Yeah. This is kind of tough. Like, he doesn't really remind me of a celebrity. He's, Dude, I would have said... He's like his own unique, special <laughs> butterfly. Snowflake, if you will. For me, it's really hard yeah, to I say who, who would I play, idea. Who I know play old Chubbs. <laughs> Josh Hutcherson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you, yeah. Go. there you go. You love his dick so much. <laughs> yeah. I could see that. I could see that. Tim's now known as the Josh Hutcherson dick guy to me. <laughs> Just that, I'll just never it. forget the time where he's just like he is no. You, can, you guys know you could see Josh Hutcherson's dick. We really should watch Future Man in this movie, and we're just kind of like okay. And you're like from, from Josh Hutcherson from now on. You know, yeah. From, from now on, the man formerly known as Chubby Friendly, yeah, formerly known as Extra Medium, he's Josh Hutcherson's dick. Josh guy. Hutcherson's dick guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm going to introduce you. From yeah, now on. I'm going to change. Yes. It. It's going to be in all the. I love that. I'm gonna Watch Future Man all, on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to change it in all the, the descriptions on all the pages. <laughs> well, it's got to be acronym, though, too. What was it? Uh, J-H-D-G. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> Make bristles like WWJD. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah, see man. that taken off. Yeah. Honestly, I can we see should that do that. Thing. We should make those. Dude, that's our Josh first. Josh Hutcherson's dick guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should do that. And stream on Hulu. <laughs> yeah. No, and then in the inside, like, only if Hulu TV. pays us to sell it. Yeah. 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 It's our idea. We patent it. Dude, Watch. it's, that's, uh, it really that grinds my taken. gears. Already. You can see a guy take cocaine up his ass. Future man, Hulu. Real quick here, since we're talking about old, awesome shows, Reno 911. How great uh, of a fucking show yeah. is Reno 911? That's a good show. They, they should have never stopped doing that show. No. It was brilliant. Skip. It was that's, fucking bloody brilliant. To me, that's a show that you you kind of forget about, and then when it's on, it's like, oh, fuck, Reno 911's on. That To me, that's what it's I like. I love it. Yeah. I yeah. love it from fucking beginning to end. Every yeah. show was phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> I love the one where he's got an apparatus on his head. <laughs> he's got an apparatus on his head, and they're like, what's an apparatus? <laughs> I always liked the dude that got caught in like the sticky sexual situation. Yeah. He was like a, like an older, like bald-headed guy. You have to biased. eat the banana. You just can't oh, stand not Terry. It. And suck on it. Terry's a good one. Yeah. But this guy was like, like, it's probably one of my favorite scenes when the guy, like, he dials 911, cop show up or whatever, and he's at like a brothel. <laughs> and like, he paid for a, a creme de mint blowjob. And then he called the cops and was like, yeah, it is not a, it wasn't creme de mint. Like, I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was, that, that was his thing. He was yeah. like, it was not creme de mint. <laughs> you know, and it, just that, that line, man. <laughs> for, well, for that, my favorite one is the um, oh, where he's like uh, the cop. Then you go to jail or something. The black guy. He's like first, first OJ, yeah. and Kobe, <laughs> now Jones. <Jonesy. laughs> I watched a clip today. It was on Facebook uh, where they had like the the fake lotto ticket or whatever. Yeah. Where, like every like two thousand people got the same lottery numbers. And, like three of them came walking in, like cussing and bitching, like basically quitting their jobs. Yeah. And calling everybody shit. <laughs> and it happens like three times in a row. Like, three people come in. It was like, oh my god, <laughs> that's hilarious! It's so good, I, I I love everything about that. Show. Yeah, so good. You know, it's been coming back in my mind a lot lately. Is uh, South Park? No, I've been watching a lot of that lately. Kung Pao Enter the Fist. That's a movie you gotta really want to watch. Yeah, 
But it's so like it's not I, for the faint of heart. I still like get the quotes from that movie. Like I still want to go every time I go. My finger points that I don't know. It's one, of the, <laughs> but every time I raise my. There's something about taco. Taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Oh yeah, uh, taco bell. Ta- taco bell, taco bell. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, and then uh, and chorito, not cho- burrito. burrito. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like actually watching the, uh, like what they're really saying. Yeah, because like, they did a dub funnier. of the movie yeah. that they're dubbing. Yeah. Just fucking, th- dude, that movie was. That, it was brilliant. Yeah. It really was. From so many different angles. The character, like every time he walks on screen, he has squeak, like they do a squeak sound effect for his shoes. Oh, yeah. And he's like, this fucking guy has squeaky shoes. And every, every time, and it's like, do you, have, do you know what Kung Pao is? No. So it's a, uh, the, this guy edited himself into a, like, 1970s kung fu movie. Like, he put his head on the guy's body. And um, there's a couple other people that are in the movie that are real actors, like now actors. But everything else is a kung fu movie from the 70s, or the 80s, maybe. And uh, so they dub over everybody's voice. Yeah. And then the guy who's edited into the movie had to do a dub version of his voice so he just speaks nonsense words and then uh and then his real voice is edited in over top of it it's a good movie right, sounds now, like it now the big <laughs> the big question here <laughs> the big question here on everybody's mind who would play dustin oh man oh i was wondering i was waiting for this to come up ashton kutcher Ooh. that's insulting a, a younger <laughs> ashton kutcher yeah yeah i could see oh, that like <laughs> that 70s show yeah ashton kutcher? kelso really not like or like, like uh, dude where's vibe. my car yeah. Oh, okay. But like, like flip it, like, like, make, make like that kind of character, but like smart and playing Dusty. Yeah. Yeah. Like that look, but Dusty. Oh yeah. I'm lost. Really? Yeah. Okay. Or, or if you want to go older, like older old man Dusty, Bruce Willis. Ooh. I'd see Josh. I, I'd see a Josh Rath as Bruce Willis. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. From beginning I'd, to yeah, end, he'd be Bruce Willis all day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fun. He'd be one I'd see as Bruce Willis. I could see, I could see Dustin as a Bruce. Yeah. Willis. Really? Yeah. I could see or you could be playing I'm gonna start a younger head. version of Bruce Willis now. Yeah. Like you, you, know, <laughs> you know who would play like an older version of Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Norris? <laughs> <laughs> no, James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. <laughs> yeah. I can totally see. <laughs> old man Chubbs like James Earl Jones. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I could see Chubbs. As, you know, Chubbs. He could. You know, who he could turn into. Who's hmm. that? If he goes a little wacky, Bob Vila, <laughs> Hecker, Hecker Brown. Ugh, no, <laughs> that's just wrong. That is wrong. Yeah. No, I don't. I mean, like the beard and like just the kind of shit. Like when he gets old, like old, he's an old, old man, man chubs? like old old man chubs, like old man retired yeah. chubs. Like I'm just here, <laughs> maybe collecting my check, like retirement check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. You know who know. else would be Dusty B? Somebody. Uh, the guy from um, Always Sunny, and now he's on AP Charlie Bio. Charlie Day? No, not Charlie Day. Damn, I like Charlie Day. The <laughs> guy from AP Bio. It's not Mac. It's yeah, you'd have to right? shave his head. AP but... Bio. Angie was talking about that show the other day, and I was like, "What is that?" It's good. She's like, "Oh, this guy's like super smart, and like he gets fired from his job because he, like, he doesn't like he's he's like doesn't give a fuck." Yeah. So he gets fired from his job for getting like into a fight with one of like the senior professor guys. Yeah. And uh, the only job that he can get is teaching AP Bio at a high school in uh, uh, his hometown. Yeah. And uh, his whole goal is to get back at one dude, right? Yeah. He yeah. just hates that fucking guy yeah. because he's like one of he's like a Doctor Phil or no, but not Doctor Phil, like a, a more friendly <laughs> Fuck Doctor Phil. Phil. Fuck Doctor Phil. I hate Doctor Phil. Yeah, but Dr. like uh, he's a he really psychology. Me off. He really grinds my gears. <laughs> he's not even a real doctor. Did you see where he's saying with Good Charlotte? I didn't want to watch it. Oh man, it was so stupid. Yeah. Go ahead, Tim. I'm sorry. No, uh. No, no, it's not Tim. It's Josh. <laughs> oh, it's it's Josh Tadine guy. Dick guy. <laughs> there it is. Um, but like, yeah, the guy's like a, um, not a psychology, philosophy. Okay. Like, you know, but like the, the secret, you know, like if you put love into the universe, the universe gives love back to you. Yeah. And like he just hates the guy because he's so, he's not nihilistic basically yeah. like he is. So yeah, so he, like the whole first season's doing revenge on. I him. really want to watch it now. I hate to totally throw a bone in this conversation. You know what pisses first? me off? What vegans? Vegans? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I got an awesome story about a vegan. Oh, Just a quick Glenn Howard. Quick story. Okay. He's also in the one of the main guys in Always Sunny. So Angie, we went to we went to Duck the same night I saw uh, Josh Hutcherson's Dick guy there, 
Uh, that right. just doesn't really roll off the tongue, <laughs> but it's still awesome. J-H-D-G. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that doesn't really roll off the tongue either. Yeah, Our waitress, uh, I was like out on the way there, I was like, Angie, I think I want a burger. I'm like, but I've never had their burgers before. And she goes, oh, they're pretty good. So the waitress comes over. She's like, you know what you guys want? I'm like, have you had a burger here? And she kind of gave me that blank stare, and I went, you're a vegan, aren't you? And she said, yep. I was like, yes, I'm so good at this. That's hilarious. Dude, it was good. And I was like, but they have a black, like, they have a black bean burger, don't they? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Angie black was, bean burgers, for the record, are pretty damn yeah. good. I've heard that. It was just funny because Angie was like, you, how, how did, why did you get so excited about that? Like, cause I'm so good at picking out who's a vegan and who's not a vegan. Well, what's your secret, man? I don't know. I'm so good at it. I don't know why. <laughs> and I always give, like, I don't do it on purpose, but I was like, give them shit for being vegan. And they're like, yeah, I'm really vegan. I'm just kind of like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Yeah. He does like a Terminator view of them and just yeah. vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. It's do you think if you ever really, if you called out a vegan yeah. and they wanted to fight you, you think you could fight a vegan? No, it's like a straight edge, like a straight edge vegan. Yeah. Like an old school straight edge vegan. Right. That would suck. Yeah. But aren't, aren't all straight edge people vegan? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. Depends on how hardcore you are, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Fucking raging. That would be real hardcore. That would be some straight no one, edge no one, to the extreme. That would be some, like, so, so hardcore it'd be like, no one can escape the anal pole Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> oh, man. Straight that, edge people. That's fucking hardcore. But that was like emo and straight edge back in them days, 2000. Yeah. I hate it. Straight edge. It yeah. Rough. You see people walk into school with yeah. X's on their hands. Yeah. And you're like, don't you just want to stand like, yeah. out? Like, we know what that really means. It means you're under 18. <laughs> yeah. You hate your or parents. You're, or you're under 21. <laughs> you can't fucking legally drink beer, so you're going to like <laughs> act like it's this big conspiracy against you or some shit. You know? <laughs> that you're just cool because you're that guy at the party who can't drink. <laughs> but he can whip everybody's ass. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's one of those guys. Well, That's just such a fucking standout thing. Like, I want to, I want to stand up. You ever have one of those days where you just want to stand the fuck out? And you yeah. put axes yeah. on but, your hands? But that's like just the kind of those days, days yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you don't want to wake, wake up. up. Everything body sucks. <laughs> yeah, They're, Everything is fucked up. Everybody sucks. sucks. Yeah, yeah, I knew I fucked it up. You don't really know why. Mm -hmm. But you want to justify, justify ripping someone's, someone's head off. off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ladies in the shot way. <laughs> Did you ever want to see... Did you ever want to see them live? Did yes. You ever, you yes. Day? They yes. are like my number one band. I want to see live. I don't know Why? if it's number one. Just but because. I'd love to see them. Just because of like the whole nostalgia thing of like Limp Bizkit was like the first like oh, yeah band for me. Oh would really? You, yeah. Would you have wanted to see them then, or would you like want to still see, see them now? now? I would have rather seen them then. Of course. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'd rather see them now. Limp Bizkit. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, because they're soft and like no one's ever around. No, not that. Well, just because Limp Biscuit, they they still got it. Man. Oh, dude, you I'd... still they think they still got it? Oh, we fuck yeah, dude. yeah. Did about, you hear their we're new about Freddy, 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 fucking Durst, <laughs> yeah, man? <laughs> <laughs> but do you really like Fred Durst? Like yes, that? yeah, I like Fred, Fred Durst. Durst is his shit, yeah. man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I tried to rock his style for a while. Did you? Did you? Did you have the Yankees last, cap? Lasted a bit. No, I won't say it lasted about you have ten minutes. <laughs> Oh man! But then I realized I'm not buying a fucking Yankees hat, so yeah. it's just not gonna happen. I like I realized I thought it was cool until like later on. I'm like, but it's still cool music. They never did it for me, man. Really? I ne what? Like, I never was they were corny? into break stuff. I really tried to like Faith. Like I listened to that song. I purposefully listened to it back back in the day. I listened to it like twice. And I was like, I, I still don't get this. Were you a George Michael fan originally? No. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I I just um uh, like uh break break uh, break stuff. Is that the name of the song? Yeah, yeah. It came out and like I did it all for the nookie, and I'm like I don't know, dude. I don't. All I right, don't get this it. is gonna change your vibage on that song. Well, about Limp Biscuit. What about In Together Now with uh, Red Man or Method Man? Right. That was one of them. Yeah, he the did song, song that he did with Meth Method Man. Nope, don't know it. You've never oh, heard dude. that song? I never listened to the like I I heard what I heard on the radio. Oh man! And I never wanted. Yeah, that really to... wasn't a radio track. No, it wasn't, but it's good. I thought it's good. I, it might just be in the corny. It was. It, it was might good. be in like the corny. Really it was young good guy. at the time, but I don't, I don't be... think it like holds up now. What? You don't think so? Nah. I mean, I don't think it holds up now, but it's just nostalgia. Yeah. Then I'm not saying it holds I mean, up. It, it, it was good back then, but that's. Oh, what was that song you did with Jonathan Davis? 
What he did with corn. Oh, um, uh, like family therapy or something. No. Twi- uh, twisted, but that transistor? was like probably the f- no, no. no. It's like the yeah. children. No, that was I- Ice Cube. Um, but there's one song where they insult each other. Yeah, what the fuck is the name of that track? I don't know, but like, I think oh it's gosh. like somebody, all, all somebody in the family. Not Facebook all in the family. Fucking, how many fans? Like it was two? something like that. It was all in, in the, the family. family. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. That? yeah. All in the family. I didn't even like that. What? <laughs> that was such a good track. Yeah. I, I can't stand his fucking voice. Who? Uh, Fred Durst. Fred Durst, you don't like his voice? What, what about when he did uh, Outside with Aaron Lewis from Stain? Yeah. That was good. When they're sitting oh, on stage. And the thing I yeah. hated about that song what? was Fred Durst. Yes. <laughs> yes. But uh, specifically, the footage of them are doing it live at on the stage. Family Values yeah. tour. Yeah. Right. And like he's like, I'm feeling those lighters out there, guys. I like I cringed my fucking <laughs> ass off. When like I that's heard. like super corny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I'm really that feeling is, those lighters out there. That, is, like, that is corny. Hit, do, they're doing it for fucking him, yeah. asshole. <laughs> do you think that maybe I'm a little jealous <laughs> that they don't expect it outside to be such a huge hit? Man. Oh, and that's where he's like, uh, "Thank God you guys like this. Thanks for showing me your lighters." Yeah, could be. Like he was like doing it, like trying to get some hype for Aaron Lewis, like. I know this song sucks, but I'm really feeling those lighters out there. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing, man. <laughs> thank you for giving it up for Aaron Lewis. We weren't really <laughs> decided about this, and then he just wanted to do it. But thank they you. Need, they need to do like the original, <laughs> original recording. You know, <laughs> outside, not recorded, like secret recording, like yeah. five years prior to that. You know, like I don't know if you should do this, man. Uh, I really think it's a good song. Nope. I don't know. You know what really pisses me off? What? Though? It's like a fucking shit to do, boys. We're going to have to call it quits on these. Cool. Just going kind to of have to come to an end. All right. All things must come to an end. <laughs> All good things. You know we're still going to talk like this as soon as the mics go off. Probably, yeah. <laughs> For like 10 minutes. I got shit. Which is the way it happens. <laughs> He's had to shit for like three hours. <laughs> he <laughs> showed up and was like, I got a shit. False alarm. <laughs> An hour later, man, I think I got a shit now. Oh, false alarm. <laughs> I do. I think I got I really do. His body's doing that. I know. I got zero. And I got we zero could wait him out. It wouldn't take very long. Like, no, it was false alarm. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear. But all right, let's get the fuck yeah. out of here. We got shit to do. Later. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We are the fuck out. Bye. Later. <laughs>